right wing sports commentator Jason Whitlock has gone after Don Staley now. Okay. Whew. So let's talk about this very briefly. I ain't going to spend too much time on this piece of shit. Okay. I ain't going to spend too much time on it. Before I do, before I speak on it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on something. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button, put all your people on it. Follow me across all social media platforms as well. All right, like I said, right wing sports commentator Jason Whitlock, uh, famous for, for his cooning, famous for his beef with Stephen A. Smith. Uh, now, in the midst of the golden age of women's basketball, this son of a bitch comes out here and, 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 and wants to attack Don Staley, who is arguably uh, the biggest figure in this golden age, okay? Now, most people going to point to Caitlin Clark, and from a player standpoint, I get that, okay? But from a coach's standpoint, you got to be Don Staley, okay? Uh, for what her team has been able to do, uh, over the past few years in the in the college game, but also what one of her former players, a player who swears by her, who loves her, Asia Wilson, has done in the pros. She's the best player in the WNBA, okay? And she played for Dunn Staley, okay? So Dunn Staley, oh, and she just happens to be a, a Hall of Famer as a player her damn self. So Dunn Staley is right up there. Dunn. Caitlin, Asia, Angel, all of these names, man, are, are, are some of the leaders of this golden age that we're in. Jason Whitlock don't like that, though. Y'all know Jason Whitlock don't like women. Y'all know that, okay? He thinks that some of the shit that, that, that's going on right now, uh, it's all just what the establishment is establishment wants he argues that nobody outside of columbia south carolina cares about don staley what this one one of the most beloved figures in basketball for hoopers but like folks that really know about you think lebron james don't fuck with don staley you think kobe Bryant when he was on this earth didn't fuck with don staley kd these, these uh, men, superstars who are beloved around the world, they fuck with Don Staley, Steph Curry. And you know on the women's side how these motherfuckers feel about Don Staley. What's wrong with this man? And he talks about the, the, the rugged, uncoached style of play that South Carolina played. What the fuck is he talking about? Has he watched South Carolina? First of all, they do play tough. They do do that which is a, a delight to see compared to the bullshit I be seeing in the NBA, okay? But ha has he seen Malaysia play basketball? I just saw that girl today, just today, just a little bit early, try to go behind the back on the break and try to goddamn get off a reverse layup like she did earlier in the year. The shit got blocked, though. All she did is go to the damn corner and receive a pass and hit a three immediately. The amount of skill displayed in that one goddamn play is something Jason Whitlock couldn't do if he lost 50 pounds with his up glass. I'm telling you, a lot of these cats like Jason Whitlock, like goddamn uh, uh, Clay Travis, they hate women. I don't know who wouldn't give them no pussy back when they were kids. When they were goddamn uh, 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 16, 17, 18 years old, they wanted to go to prom, and, and some, the girl they wanted to go with wouldn't go with them, and now they hated women their whole goddamn life. See, now they can get some pussy, they can just buy some pussy now, okay? But, but, but that shit stuck with them from back then. That's crazy. It's crazy. So shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. And that's for anybody like him. 
if you don't like the women's game, you don't like what's going on with the women's game, whether it be WNBA, whether it be college, don't watch it. You ain't got to watch it. You ain't got to watch it. Don't watch it. Don't comment on it. You feel me? Y'all do other sports like that? I ain't seen a NASCAR segment in forever. Y'all ain't running segments about pickleball. Shit. If you don't like it, don't talk about it. Leave that to the real one. And just shut the hell up. Put it on something. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.